Hello everyone, welcome to my channel after a long time. Let's start our discussion on one of the practical that is usually been there in class 11th. The aim of the experiment of the practical is aim of the experiment to determine the volume of an irregular lamina using screw gauge. So, for this, you know the format, the way we are going to write down the experiment. That is, after this, we are going to write the apparatus required. And for the apparatus, apparatus required, we need a screw gauge and this is the screw gauge, all of you can see here and irregular laminates, irregular lamina. Since I don't have the laminas, so I have taken this uh, papers of irregular shapes. This is not paper actually, this has certain thickness, you can see here, this has some thickness. So we are going to use this one as a lamina. So how to calculate the volume of this irregular laminas? So before going to calculate the volume, let's understand how the volume is calculated. Suppose I will ask you, what is the volume of a cylinder? For cylinder, if you, will you will tell me the volume is nothing but equals to pi r square h. Now if I will draw the diagram, a right circular cylinder, you can see here, this is a cylinder of radius r and height which is equals to h. So now you see if I will take this pi r square outside and multiply it with h this pi r square is nothing but the cross sectional area. Just try to understand this is the cross sectional area and here in this cylinder the cross sectional area is nothing but a circle. And that's why this is coming out as pi r square and you need to multiply the height to give you the volume which is nothing but a into h. Similarly, if you will take a cube, let's take a cube and try to understand how the volume is calculated. Now, if this is a cube of side L, you will tell me the volume of the cube b is nothing but equals to L cube. Now I can divide this L cube into two parts. One is L square into L. So try to understand what is L square. L square is nothing but the cross sectional area. Which is nothing but a square here. So this is L square. So this is also nothing but equals to L square is equals to cross sectional area. And H is nothing but the height. Here height is nothing but equals to L. So this is L. So indirectly the volume is just nothing but the product of area and the height. So in this format here also we can apply this rule here to calculate the volume of this irregular lamina. So what we are going to do we have we need to calculate the area of it then the thickness of it. This is the thickness. Now if we can do that we can multiply the area with the thickness to calculate the volume. So question arises we can calculate the thickness very easily because in my previous video I have told you how to calculate the thickness or uh, any uh, length by using the screw gauge that I have discussed in my previous video. But how to calculate the area that is the key here because this is not a regular shape this is not having a regular shape we need to calculate it by using a graph paper and that is the theory here so how to calculate it so theory is so the theory is 
calculation of area the area is equals to 100 into small a plus 25 into b plus c into 0 0.01 centimeter square so try to understand from where this formula arises how to calculate the area now you see if you take a graph paper like this just take a graph paper and your confusion will be clear so this is the graph paper now you see if we take a very small portion that means a small square of it this is actually having 100 small squares in between this this square let me just just the uh, darken it if this is the square i am taking there there is having there are having uh, 100 small squares in between and if we take the quarter of it that means a small quarter of it like this this one that I have just uh, bolded right now. There are 25 squares in between. So we need to calculate how many big squares are there. How many quarter squares are there. And the rest thing we will have to calculate on our own. That is the C. So what is the term A indicate here? A indicate number of big squares. Because and what is the big square? You can see here this is the big square. This one is the big square. And what is B? B is nothing but number of quarter square. So what is quarter? Now you can see. You can see here this one is the quarter square. So we are going to multiply 25 into B. And here we are going to multiply 100 into A. And what is C? C is nothing but number of rest small squares. Rest small squares that we need to calculate. That means we have to, uh, one by one we have to calculate that how many rest of the squares are there. So let me just show you that how it is being done. Then, the clarif uh, then you will easily understand. So suppose I am taking this one, this irregular lamina. We can take any of them. So let's take this one. And draw the outline of it. Try to understand how I am doing. Just place it anywhere of your wish. And draw the outline of it. The way I am doing. Just draw the outline. Now I have drawn the outline of it. You see. This is the figure I have got. So now how many big squares are there? Now you see. The tick marks are the big squares. Try to understand. So these are the big squares. That is your small a. So small a is equals to 6 right now. Then how many quarter squares are there? If you look closely. I am putting a dots over here. So this is a small one. This one, you see this one, then next this one, here is this, here is another one, here is and here is. So there are these many uh, quarters squares are present. So B is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 quarter squares are there. Now rest of the squares that is not coming under any of these category we need to calculate that means this small small portion this portion this portion here is this portion we need to calculate these things by just like 1 2 3 4 5 6 like this we need to calculate there is no other option and like this you are going to average it out so let's calculate this one and i will calculate the number of c that is your number of rest of the squares and put it over here now why 0 0.01 is been just multiplied because as you will see here if you'll go through the very small portion that means a very small square like this this one 
so this side is point 1 this side is point 1 so that means if we'll multiply the area of this small, very small square is nothing but equals to 0 0.01 so that's why as a whole we are multiplying 0 0.01 to get the value I hope so this is clear so what we are calculating I am summarizing we are calculating what is the number of big squares that is the big squares are nothing but the darker red lines and I have just uh, drawn a tick mark over here and I have 6a small a is nothing but the number of bigger squares and number of quarter squares is nothing but the small small square that is having 25 very small squares in between and I have 5 small squares and I will calculate C just like this. This, just like this small small squares 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 like this. Then after that what we are going to do. Likewise we will take 3 different, uh, different outline at 3 different places of this graph. Such that we will average it out to minimize the error. So we have to take another outline for this one and here the a will be different b will be different and of course c will also be different so here if i consider 1 2 3 4 5 6 there are a is equals to 6 and the number of quarter squares 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 and 9 so we have b is equals to 9 and here also we have to calculate what is c. The rest of the things we need to calculate. There is no other option. So in that manner we have to take 3 outlines for this glass lamina. It's not a glass lamina. It's just a paper, uh, different irregular size paper I have taken. Just a cut piece of the paper having certain thickness. So uh, then this is the, we have to calculate the area of it. Then area multiplied with thickness. Thickness we can easily calculate by using a screw gauge. I have already told you how to calculate it. Just put it inside. Put it inside. And take the reading. Like first one is your initial circular scale reading. Take it out. Just take it out. Then give rotations to note down how many complete rotations are there. Then the final circular scale reading. In that manner, you can take 5 readings to minimize the error and calculate the thickness. So that thickness multiplied with this area that you are going to calculate. I will show you how to calculate. Let us suppose this C is coming out as 225. Here the C is coming out as 683. Let's suppose. Let's calculate how to calculate it. Our area for this one will be 100A plus 25B plus C into 0 0.01. So now this is 100 into 6 plus 25 into B is nothing but 5 plus 683 into 0 0.01. So this is 600, 25 into 5 is 125 plus 683 into 0 0.01. So now 600 plus 125 plus 683. So this becomes 1408. So 1408 multiplied into 0 0.01. So this becomes... 14.08 centimeter square. So this is how we are going to calculate. So here also if you are going to continue I am doing it random actually this will come closer. That means if you are going to calculate for three different outlines this is coming out as 14.08 I, I have taken the C randomly. You have to calculate actually. They will, the final result will come, this final result will come closer. 
So suppose let us take this is coming out as 14.08 cm square. Now let us go for the calculation of thickness. So how to calculate the volume? So if I will go for thickness calculation. So let us go for thickness calculation. That for thickness we need to calculate what is ICSR. Then is your NCR. Then is your FCSR. I difference F. PSR in centimeter. CSR in centimeter. Then total in centimeter. So let us continue. Let us first take this irregular lamina. Take this irregular lamina. And place it in between the jaws of this screw gauge. Let me note it down. Okay. I am getting 32. So the initial circular scale reading is 32. Take it out. Place it again at 32. And give complete rotation. So let us give complete rotation. I am getting one complete rotations. So now the final circular scale reading is coming out as 89. So this is one complete rotation and this is 89. So I difference F will be 100 plus I minus F because this is a 100 division circular scale. 132 minus 89 is coming out as 43. So this is 43. So now what is PSR? PSR is pitch scale reading which is nothing but pitch into number of complete rotations. So pitch is 0 0.1. So this becomes 0 0.1 because the number of complete rotation is 1. And uh, CSR is nothing but list count into extra division. List count is 0 0.001. So 0 0.043. So total is 0 0.143. So this is my thickness. So, the total calculation part will be, in calculation you will calculate the volume which is nothing but area that we have calculated here. The area is nothing but area into thickness. So, area is equals to 14.08 multiplied into 0 0.143. So, that means we will get 14.08. 0 0.8 multiplied in, into 0 0.143 now you see 2.01 centimeter cube so this is the volume so this is all about my today's discussion that how to calculate the volume of an irregular lamina using screw gauge those who have not those who don't know that how to calculate the thickness using screw gauge they can go to my previous video and learn about it. I hope so. This is clear. Thank you everyone. Thank you for watching.